Hello guys, it is James back with another video and in today's video I am going to be talking about new changes that are coming to Madden Ultimate Team for 24 and the overall system. As you guys can see already, 86 overalls will be the highest. So number one, as we can see, Aiden Hutchinson, obviously the rookie premier. Um, he's got kind of okay stats, so not what I would have liked. Also 78 strength, yeah. Um, but... If you guys look, uh, 81 speed, 80 excel, 87 finesse, 86 press coverage, uh, 77 power move, 81 speed, 78 strength, 84 tackle, 84 ball rush. Decent stats, but again, I'm just going to sell them right away. I think that's what most people are going to be doing. I think he's going to be going for a million coins or more. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to go over 86 overalls because those are the main. So Joel Vitonio, 86. Nick Bosa, 86. Uh, Aaron Donald, 86. Miles Garrett, 86, Creed Humphrey, 86, Lane Johnson, 86, Chris Jones, 86, 86, Jason Kelsey, and 86, Dexter Lawrence. Then we have 86, Chris Lindstrom, 86, Michael Parsons, 86, Trent Williams for 86s. And then for 85s, we have Javon Hargrave, Demarcus Lawrence, Ethan Pokick, I think is how you say it, Montez Sweat, Andrew Thomas, Joe Tooney, Christian Wilkins, Connor Williams, and Quinton Williams for 85 overalls. So, no, 84s, Jonathan Allen, Brian Burns, Cam Hayward, Vaughn Miller for 84s. 83s, DeForest Muckner, Fletcher Cox, DJ Reader. 82s are Eric Armstead and Michael Pierce. So, go to. Alright, so that are the overalls for 86s. Then if you guys want to see the stats, I'll show them later on. But for Man Ultimate Team Deep Dive is what it's called. So it's all in uh, my GG. So there's good number one, there's a promo called 86. Uh, or no, Ultimate Preseason, not 86. Also, may I add Sauce and Gardner? Hopefully it's high overall. Because um, if it's an 87, I'm probably going to pick uh, JJ for the 85 overall. Although I'm just going to pick Sauce maybe. But... As you can see, we have an 80 overall Jalen Hurts. So there's only 16 items. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 12. So there's 60. So there's 4 more. But if we look, it's probably going to be 72, 75. But all right, let me say Jalen Hurts, 80. 75 Sauce. 75 Kyle Hamilton. 75 Micah Parsons. 75 Prince Glenstrom. 75 Micah Pitts. 75 George Kittle. 75 Devontae Adams. I think then it goes 72, 72 Drew Glenn, 72 Aiden Hutchinson, 72 Dexter Lawrence, and 72 Derrick Henry. Number one, um, so I don't know if these are going to be like upgradable players or what, but yeah, these overalls are not looking good, but who knows. Then, uh, ultimate preseason looks like it's going to be, this is going to be the field pass. There will be field passes. Um, so it looks like Larry Tunsil and Tariq Willen, and then some coins, like a pack. But if we look, it says much champs will be open to everyone and no longer require token for entry. That's kind of nice. Um, the champion sets will require any non-BND players of a given overall rather than it requiring heroes for a specific program. So what that means is any non-BND. So it's got to be any player. So say it's like, say I'm doing the Justin Jefferson set from uh, Man 23 in the beginning of the year. And I need 586 overall headliners. Now I'm just going to need 586 overalls flat. So that's going to how it's going to be how it works. Then the MCS is back with the S. So we get a free pack, obviously. I think we know that. But if you don't, now you know. Um, just for signing up and playing a first game. Now this also says, as we know, cross play functionality has been added to PS5, uh, Xbox Series X, and PC. Old gen and new gen economies will now be separate. Okay. Champion items at launch have been confirmed to be 87 overalls, so it's going to be like 84, so we would need that. The Commission Pass will last for the full duration of each MUT season and include daily, weekly, and season objectives. Each competitive pass will have two exclusive player items to earn, and each of the two players has a limited and base version. Base items will be BND like they were in MUT 23, but limited versions will come with extra abilities. They will be auctionable, and they can only be earned by the first 1,000 users. So, back in Madden 23, or well, now, or for Madden 23, 
the committed fasteners would be off or not auction numbered and whatever number you had is like so maybe you had the first one and that was like what people wanted the first it didn't really matter it's just for like signifying that you were the first person to get it which means you basically have no life that's what i'm just trying to say but um what's it called no i'm joking you can just be really good at madden and yeah but what's it called what this means now is like you really want to be one of the first 1,000 people to get it because then you can auction him and he's got better ability. So see, you don't want to auction him, but you know, which will you want to get the good ability? So that's why you're gonna grind for him. Either way, I think try and get that limited or whatever it is. Even if you don't really care about the abilities, you can sell it free coin. So they're gonna be two. As they said, too, which is going to be AJ Terrell and George Pickens, we found out, are going to be the competitive best players. So I'm kind of excited for George Pickens, probably going to have good run backing, good catching, and pretty decent speed. And AJ Terrell should have good speed, too. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, That's going to be nice. And then also, it says... Okay, so uh, that's actually interesting. So Madden NFL 24 will have seven full seasons of Ultimate Team. A live event hub has been added to the organizer's new program. Yeah, or, or information and sets for easier access. Okay, so yeah, that's that. So the catalog is going to be cool, by the way. Um, Because, you know, for me, like, last year, sometimes I'd be like, wait, how do I get him? Because, like, you know, some peop- some cards, you know, aren't, like, you don't know how you get it. And you're, like, confused. And it's, like, some of the prime cards, like, I was confused that they'd be on my GG. So now I can just go to the catalog, look for it. It's pretty nice, actually, like that. Um, what I don't like, and I'm going to be honest, I know some people are not going to be happy about it, is I don't think a- a- Aaron Don should be an 86. I think he should be 84, 83 because he wasn't that good. I know, like, he was still decent, but 86 overall is kind of odd. And 99 club again? Again? For real? Because, you know, I don't know how Nick Posta going to be in 98. He gonna be in uh, that makes no sense. Another different actually no, they're both right ends. Yeah, so that makes no sense. Chris Jones, I think, definitely deserved it. I still don't know why he's in eighty six or ninety six. He's not at least in ninety seven because he's you know deserves a lot of, much more respect and he's one of the best players. He just doesn't get noticed that much because he's playing with Patrick Mahomes. Lane Johnson was very good. He deserves that. And Dexter Lawrence is very good. I think he should be in eighty five, but eighty six is still nice. Quinn and Williams, that's nice to see. Uh, Cowboys theme teams will be stacked. Uh, yeah. Uh, where is it? Michael Parsons and Demar- Demarcus Lawrence. Yeah, they're, they're going to be a have good O line. Um, or D line. But um, I just want to also say uh, thank you so much for getting 120 views or whatever it was, 120 some, five or something like that. Um, on my last video, I really do appreciate it, and it definitely makes me, you know, it made my day. Um, so, what would also make my day is, um, you know, you guys don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you guys have enjoyed this video, or it's helped you out in any way, and, you know, or you guys just want to make my day, because I would really appreciate it if you did, please, um, before you leave, like the video or subscribe or something like that. I do also want to say, um, and I want you guys, I was wondering, can you guys put in the comments, who is your, out of everyone who is released today, who's one player that you know you are going to pick up? Like, if you can, you're definitely going to pick him up, and there's no way you're not, whether it's Nick Bosa or... Creed Humphrey or Chris Jones or Dexter Lawrence, whoever. Tell me who you guys are going to pick up. Because I just like to know it. And also, if you guys really did enjoy this video or you guys just like to enjoy watching it, please like and subscribe because it really makes my day. Um, especially subscribing because I really want to get to 120 subscribers by the end of the week. And we're at 117, so let's get there, boys. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.